Hola mis amigas y amigos. A nuestro canal. A nuestro canal. Hola, mis amigos y amigas. <laughs> Hola, mis amigos y amigas. Y nuestro y canal. Get out of here. <laughs> no. Bienvenido. Ay, bienvenido. A nuestro canal. Bienvenido a, a nuestro canal. As Let's you can tell, he, he's trying very hard. Yeah. So in today's video, we're going to be doing Puerto Rican wives teach his husband Spanish, but there's going to be a little twist to that because I'm going to be teaching him 10 words that are Puerto Rican slang and he's going to have to tell me what they mean. I know he's heard them a lot when I talk around my family, so hopefully he's able to guess. And then we're going to have three parts to this video. That's the first part. So in the second part of this video, I am going to be giving him three phrases in Spanish and he's going to have to translate them back to me in English. In the third part of the video, I'm going to be giving him three phrases in English and he's going to have to translate them in Spanish. Let's get it. So let's see if he's ready. Let's see if after 16 years he knows Short anything disclaimer, in Spanish. Short disclaimer guys, so I do know a little bit of Spanish after 16 years, but it's a little rusty. I think he's a little cocky, but no. uh, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, so let's jump into it. Alright, so I, I wrote a list of the words. The first word is, or we can slang, is huepa. Huepa! That's what they do all the time, like when something breaks. Huepa! <laughs> when something breaks? Huepa! Huepa no. is like, um, it's an ex it's an expression actually. Right. right? Uh -huh. It's an expression that um, there's not necessarily like a defined meaning to this, guys. It's like, okay, um, good. Uh -huh. it's uh, a it's expression. Him. It's not. Okay, it's good as an expression. Uh, I said that already, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, wait, pa, wait, pa. Yay! It's like, there you yay! Go, you got I got it. it? Yeah! <laughs> Yay! Yay! So when something good happens, you go wepa, or you're like, you know, you're going somewhere or whatever. So it's like, yay! Yay! So that's the Puerto Rican Bruh, slang. I know this. Yeah, whatever. Let's next. go. Let's Second word. word: chavos. Chavos. All right, let me get my pr pronunciation. Chavos, right? Mm -hmm. Chavos. Do not know this word, guys. Um, so this word in Spanish. Depending where you're from, it has different meaning. Well, Travels. I'm Puerto Rican, you've been with me, so you should know my meaning. Travels, travels. I barely hear you say this word though. I've used this word a lot. Is it a food? It's not a food. It's an expression? Yes. Chavos. Babe, I do not know this word and this is embarrassing me right now. <laughs> chavos means, hold on, chavos means money? Mm hmm What? I thought it was like mula and dinero. I am and sorry. I've never heard chavos. I have nothing against Mexican, but mula is more like a Mexican word oh. for money. Chavos is more of a Puerto Rican slang expression for money, like dame los chavos. Dame los chavos. I know, like for the Mexicans, I think chavos means more like kids, and mm. for us, it means more like money. Thing, dame like, los chavos is like dame like, dinero. So many different meanings to these words. Like, I never understood that till this day. So, chavos is money, right? Yes. All right, cool. Let's go on to the next one. The third word is coño. Coño. That's like damn. Yeah, right? you got that's it. Like, that was easy. Yeah. yeah. Damn. So that's a slang that is not only used in Puerto Rico but in many other Spanish country, which is like an expression like damn, like uh. Damn. Okay, that was easy one. Come on, coño. All right, damn, so, damn so far it. we did. I, I know. Huepa. Chavos and you don't coño. you did not know chavos. Well, no, so we've gone over those. But now you know chavos, yeah. right? Well, Dame lo chavo. Where's your wallet? Uh, I can't find it. <laughs> you can't find it. <laughs> can't find it. <laughs> so the fourth word is guagua. What? Guagua. Guagua. Sounds like agua. No, it's not. It's not water. No. Guagua. These are all expressions they sound like to me, right? It's a word, though. Okay. Guagua. I don't hear you say this a lot. <laughs> Bro, like, I have no idea what this is. You probably have, but you've never really paid attention to it. Guagua. So, guagua means, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I you you sure you don't want to guess? Right, I'm going to say that guagua is um, what does like whining, like? like someone's whining. No. So, guagua means bus. Bus. What? Me voy a montar en la guagua. 
bus? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Say that again. What do you? How do you use Guagua. it in a sentence? That's what we should also do. You want to see how it's spelled? No, I don't need to see it, but. No. Well, you need to learn how. Say how you say it in a phrase. Uh, me voy a montar en la guagua. Me, okay. I'm gonna get on the bus. Okay. Me say it again. Me voy. Me voy. A montar. A montar. En la guagua. En la guagua. En Gua- la guagua. En la guagua. En la guagua. All right. Uh, la guagua va muy rápido. La guagua. Come again. La guagua. La guagua. Va. Va. Muy rápido. Muy rápido. What do you think that means? The bus is going very fast. Very good. Yes. But well, we're not into the phrase yet, so. Okay. We'll say so that. So next you. word, nene or nena? Uh, nena as girl, guys. Anything with an A is, I mean, ends with an A is usually like a girl or relating to like. The I hope feminine. you learned that in your Spanish. Nana. Class. What was the other one? Nene. Nene. Nana. <laughs> so nana. nana. Nene is boy. So those are okay. those are usually ones. So girl for us Puerto Rican, we will use like I nena or I nene, like. Like, oh boy, like, oh, oh girl. You know how you say, hey girl. So the sixth word is brutal. Que brutal. I hear you that heard that one. I hear that a lot. Ah. Oh my God. That's like, that's also an expression like, I think someone's exaggerating. It's almost, uh-huh. so it is, it's an exact, it's yeah, exaggerating. But what, like, what does it mean? Um, brutal, exaggerating. No? That's not what the word means. Brutal, um... Brutal, right? Is brutal a good word in Spanish? In no. English? No. Why? So do you so think... So brutal it's... is like someone's being brutal, like they're being harsh. No. So what it is in our Puerto Rican slang, brutal, means like it's awesome. And in English, brutal, it's like not a good word. Ah, like that's okay. brutal. So if I say, Tacho, esa camisa está brutal. Te ves lindo. Ah, okay. Ay. Ay, ay, okay. <laughs> so that means like... You're so brutal, using... like that's like awesome. Like... Ese carro ah, okay. está brutal. Like that car looks awesome. Okay. Brutal means awesome. Then? Awesome. Like okay. it's está brutal. Okay. El carro está brutal. What do you guys think? <laughs> y'all don't murder me in the comments, please. <laughs> so the A so me, word, be quiet, is ay bendito. Ay, ay bendito. Like I feel so sorry for you. Ay bendito. Like. So it's another word, it's another like expression. It's another expression expressing your your sympathy. So I guess what because we're very expressive. Yeah, so it's like expressing your sympathy for someone. Uh Uh-huh, like ay bendito. You hear me say that like literally every... Ay bendito, like you feel sorry for that person or what just happened to them or... Uh Uh-huh. Like, yeah. So what does it mean? I'm so sorry, right? No. What do you think the, the phrase means? I think it means, I just told you. I just think it means that you feel sympathy for someone. Okay. I don't know if I know exactly what the words mean, babe. So, I even did this kind of like, ay Dios mio, like, oh my god. Okay. Because, you you know, we use that word in different contexts. Like, we express, we can express happiness, sadness, all sorts of emotions. Ay bendito, que lindo se ve. Or ay bendito, que. Ay bendito, que le paso. What does the words actually mean? Like, oh my gosh. Oh my god, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so, (laughs) number nine. This is a good one. You can relate a lot. I should probably know this one. Hartera. What? (laughs) Hartera. I know cartera. No, but Car- this is not cartera. Cartera is ca- credit card, right? But, or card. Cartera is credit card? Ay, Dios Dame you cartera. Fit- you say that a lot. Dame, Dame cartera. Dame cartera. Give me your wallet. That don't make right. you, oh, wallet. you relate it to credit card because it's like, right. give me your wallet. Right. What was the word? Cartera? Cartera. I don't know what this one means either, babe. No. You so, said I can relate to it? Yeah. You do this a lot. Dictating. No. <laughs> Besides dictating, no. You want me to tell you what it is? Yeah. What is so, it? So, cartera is like when you overeat, you ate an exaggeration and you're so full. It's like, ay, que haltera. Ah, okay. Ay, no, ay. I'm about to explode. No puedo, I can't, no puedo, no puedo, no puedo más. No Estoy muy lleno. But it's so good. So, Gotta us Puerto Rican, we say, ay, que haltera, comí demasiado. Okay. Ay, chico, tú tienes una haltera, mira esa barriga. Ay, cállate la boca. <laughs> okay, Next so word. the last word is, you've heard this word a lot. Okay, yes. what is it? Jíbaro. Jíbaro. Ibaro, Ibaro, I can't Ibaro. I can't Ibaro. Like so, you, what does you, that mean? You like, you like. Uh, I don't even know how to. Ex- I know what it means, but it's not. Okay, well, Dave, you know it, so. what it means. You should be able to say it. Ibaro is like uh, not a cowboy. Is it a cowboy? No, you're close, but not a cowboy. Uh, it would be like a country. Somebody from the country. Ah, uh, Ibaro is someone like from the country that wears like cowboy hats and stuff. Not necessarily cowboy hats, and but they don't know how to dress. Is like 
Okay. Their dressing, it's not up to par. So us in the Puerto Rican culture, we call hibaro, like somebody that's from the countryside. So we use that more like in a joking manner. <laughs> Be like, man, why you dress like a hibaro? Why are you looking? You gotta te say that in Spanish. Un... Oh. Te, pa te pareces un jibaro mismo que tienes puesto. Cámbiate. Eso no me gusta. Okay. So it's pretty much telling them if you dress like a hibaro, it's like you're not dressed up to part. You need to change. Right. You look oh, like yeah. you're from the country. What does the word itself mean? Country guy. Country guy. Mm -hmm. Hibaro country guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Country guy. So. Country man. Country boy. Yeah, and there can, you go. And you, can be a, and you can be a hibara. Yeah, you can be a hibara too. Okay. So don't be a hibara or don't be a hibaro. So we're gonna move on to three phrases. Now we're gonna start Spanish to English. Ready? Okay. The first phrase is no me molestes. No me molestes. No me molestes. No me molestes. Muy bien. Stop, your wh part. stop your whining. No. No, no me, me molestes. Like no me gusta, no me moleste, right? Uh huh. No me molestes. Ready for what Peter tell me? Uh huh. No, no me moleste. No me. What does moleste mean? Ay, like, no me moleste. Like... Ay, stop bothering me. Uh huh, there you go. No me moleste. No oh. me moleste. See, that word to me sounds like don't stop molesting me. It does sound moleste. like it. Moleste. Moleste. So okay. don't bother me. Don't bother me. Got right. that one. Get that one. All right, the second one is. Tu eres un tirapeo. Tu qué? Tu eres un tirapeo. Say it again, I know this one. <laughs> say, it, say it again. He really is. Tu eres. Uh -huh. Un. Tirapeo. Your fart stinks. No. No. Tú, you're not thinking. All right, all right. Tú eres. Tú eres. Un tirapeo. Wait, what? Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Yo, why are you giving me all these hard ones now? They're Wait, easy. Dude. Those are Tú, easy. Come again, babe. Tú eres. Tú eres. Un tirapeo. Un tirapeo. They all like stink. Peo. Fart. Babe, come on. <laughs> Don't come on me. <laughs> you are one stink person. You are one it's smelly, like you're, smelly. You're farty pants. You're, I said fart like 10 times. So it's like you stink, you're a fart. You're a fart. I'm telling you that you're a fart. Okay. <laughs> Peo means fart. Okay, and I said that, guys. The next one is, ay Dios mío, tengo que ir al baño. Oh my gosh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, so oh that's why you know quickly. Like, yeah, because you always, she always gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah. I do. Wait, no. I do too. Yeah, so that's oh my god, like I dios mia, oh my god, I gotta go to the bathroom, right? Yeah. Muy bien, muy bien. Alright, so moving on to the third part of the video. Right now we're gonna be translating from English to Spanish. How many Spanish. phrases was that? That was just two. No, I did three. So in the third part, I'm gonna be giving him English phrases and he's gonna have to try to translate them to Spanish. What? Please leave it in the leave it down in the comments. How do you guys think? him did. Does he need more practice? Encourage him to learn more Spanish, please. I've been I trying, but like sometimes, you know, husbands don't really listen to their wives, they listen to other people, so maybe if you guys yeah. let him know, hey, Tim, por favor, aprende el español, que es importante. Ay, ay, tranquila, tranquila, Estoy bien tranquila, tranquila, no te preocupes. Okay, so ahora, I'm... What? <laughs> Nothing may go. So the phrase is gonna be love. It's like a like Wi-Fi. The further you go away, I it told loses you with these long phrases. Babe. You have How to figure to... it out. It's a phrase. Say that again. Love is like Wi-Fi. As you go further away, it loses intensity. You know how to say Wi-Fi in Spanish? Amor está wifi. Está wifi? No. Hey, I don't know how to say all of this in Spanish. But this is the whole point. You Not gotta with these try. long phrases, though. But these are easy. But a medida. This is why you're teaching me. A medida. A medida. Que te alejas. Que te alejas. Okay, so that's the second part. It loses its intensity. So tell me, you have to try. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't know how to say it. It loses its intensity. Do you know how to intensity, say it? You're not I trying. Know that word. A medida que te alejas. A medida me catieras. Okay, so you know what guys, we're gonna include, because of these issues that we're having right now, we're gonna hold Tim accountable and we're gonna include a Spanish teaching segment in this YouTube video. Because you know in what, we channel. need to, in this YouTube channel, because we need to see progress in, in his Spanish. Not only his, but mine. I wanna get better in Spanish. I wanna be like 100% fluent. Like I'm fluent, but every now and then because I don't speak it as often, I get kinda like, how do I say that? So yeah, I'm kinda, you know what, I'm gonna put my foot down. 
You're gonna learn Spanish. All right, let's do it. So we'll be doing more of these videos with Millie teaching me Spanish, and All right. I'll be teaching her Spanish also. Okay, muy bien. You teach me English and I teach you Spanish. Okay. Sounds good. You said you knew Spanish right. at the beginning of the video. Did you say you knew yeah, Spanish? Yeah, I knew a little bit, like un poquito. You know, like that's nothing. That's muy bien, basic. Gracias. You know. That's yeah, super that's basic. basic. Like, Everybody hola, qué tal? Mi nombre es Timoteo. Mi esposa muy bonita. Like. <laughs> That's what I know, like, and I know when they're talking Spanish, like, if they're talking over in a group, I, I can pick up what they're saying, like, so don't be trying that stuff with me, like. Well, I'm trying it right now, and it ain't working. Using all these, like, All right, so what this one words. meant, el amor es como el wifi, a medida que te alejas, pierde intensidad. Okay, like, how was I supposed to know that, y'all? El amor es como el wifi. El amor es como wifi. A medida que te alejas. 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 Que te alejas. Pierde intensidad. Pierde intensidad. Intensidad. Okay, let's move on to the next one, guys. Okay. So, a good neighbor Girl. is one that leaves free Wi Fi. How do you say neighbor in Spanish? Nevador. What? No. <laughs> no. Yo, sometimes. You and there's some words that you can actually just hear and like pr pronounce it and it just happens to be that's how you say it in Spanish. Well, I not can't remember one. those words, but it's not Navador. <laughs> vecino, baby, vecino. What? Vecino? Un buen vecino. Un buen vecino. Es aquel. Es aquel. Que deja. Que deja. El wifi gratis. El wifi gratis. El wifi gratis. All right, guys, let's move on to the next one. Okay, guys, so the third question, which is the last question, is... We got married five years ago. Yo y tú got each cinco años ago. Ay, Dios mío. This is harder than I thought it was going to be. Yo y tú. What's God? <laughs> you want me to tell you what it is? First of all, I said, we've been married for five years. Nosotros estamos casados hace cinco años. Nosotros. Nosotros. Estamos, estamos casados, casados hace, hace cinco, cinco años. años. Nosotros estamos casados casado, hace, hace cinco, cinco años. años. My hands are crossed because he's going to get it after this video. Ay. By yourself. Nosotros estamos casados ese. <laughs> Cinco años. Hace cinco años. Cinco años, guys. I so this, is this, so what do you think about it? your Spanish challenge slash lesson? I think it was pretty good. I mean, that's what it was. You're teaching me Spanish. <laughs> 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 Gracias por todo. Y joining the video and watching me learn Why Spanish. Why don't you say, guys. Gracias, mi jíbaros y jíbaras. It's Gracias, a joke. Gracias, mi jíbaros y jíbaras. Gracias, mi amigas y amigos, hasta luego, hasta luego, sí. hasta la vista. Si son nuevos en este canal, por favor dale un suscríbete si le gusta el video, dale un like. Si no le gusta el video como quiera, dale un like. Este, oh, si quieren dejar un comentario, por favor dejen un comentario abajo que digan que Tim va a aprender más español, que quieren más videos de Tim hablando español. That's it guys, see you guys in the next video. La única banda que toca